black, pushing them to identify. We are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. I mean, and I mean that in every, every sense. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl my Michelle and I am back to you guys with another video So in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a hair tutorial. This is a style that I've been dying to try But I've been taking a break from wigs because every time I put on a wig, I feel like I can't get it right But this time Your girl got it right <laughs> In this today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you get this, I guess like middle part, claw clip, half up, half down um, style. Oh, this is cute. It's been a while since I've worn a wig, so I'm like, this is big. It is big. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into this video. Okay, so you guys already know what it is. First, we're gonna work on bald capping this bald cap on down, y'all. So I'm just gonna be putting some spray, hairspray along the line. Y'all already know how it works. But yeah, we're just doing the bald cap method. So now it's time to cut off the excess cap. Y'all, this is my least favorite part because I be having like face hair on my back on forehead and pulling it back, it hurt. It, it be hurting, it hurts. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm taking my little razor blade and I'm cutting off the excess cap. So then to get rid of like that white crest outline on my wig cap, I just take some got to be glue gel and I just go ahead and press that in and it kind of erases the white outline on my wig cap to make it look a little bit more bald and invisible. So then y'all, I decided to be lazy and I bought some spray tint spray that I had for a while ago and that's how I colored my wig cap. And so yeah, so now I'm just sizing the wig on my head, making sure you can't see the cap underneath the lace and making sure it will be positioned correctly how I want it to on my head. Okay, so when it comes to laying down my wig, I use got to be glued again. And the reason why I use got to be glued to lay my wigs down is because the regular glue, wig, whatever you, we usually use is a little bit too strong for my daggone skin. So I like to use got to be a lot better. It holds well and it also is very easy to take off when the time comes. No, 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 no. Okay, 
Okay, so I took my headband off so I could go ahead and do my edges. Now, I know y'all are probably looking like, ew, this girl lace is crusty. But I know what I'm doing and y'all just need to trust the process because I am going to worry about the lace later. So right now I am just cutting my edges and I'm just going to go ahead and lay my edges down. You're doing everything that makes me smile. And when we had our first kiss, it happened on a third. Okay, so also if you wanted that bohemian kind of like effect, I did pull like four extra strings that I'm gonna curl later off to the side so I can give my hair that bohemian, you know, distressed effect. So then I'm just gonna be taking my wax stick and just waxing down the front half of my head and I'm gonna hot comb it just so I can make sure the like front middle slick back part can be like as sleek as possible. I'm saying, he don't even know what he's doing to me. Got me feeling all crazy inside. I'm, I'm feeling like. So now I'm preparing to pull both sides back up underneath my wig. And to make, you know, it hold as best as possible, I use my Pump It Up Spritz, my Holy Grail. I use that for every single thing and like i said i'm just making sure both sides are as sleek as possible use some puppet up spritz and then i'm going to tie it behind my head and underneath the back of the wig so it can be hold secure and so it can remain sleek <laughs> So then once I got that tied and out the way, I'm just going to be taking my wand curler and I'm just going to be wand curling those pieces that I had left aside earlier in the video. Okay, so my hair was still a little wet because I just washed the wig before putting it on. So I just blow dried it just a little bit so it can be a little bit more floofy when I saw this last part. But after I did that, I'm just going to go ahead and split the top half of my hair. And I'm just going to kind of roll it and like flip it forward as y'all will see. Now, I know a lot of people use claw clips for this and I did not have any claw clips at all and i did not feel like running to the store last minute so i just used hairpins to hold my hair up for the time being so you guys can get the initial look of what i'm trying to show y'all in this video And that is how you get this bomb, very cute hairstyle. I just want to say thank you guys so much for uh, watching my video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at nj. CO so y'all can keep up with me and know whenever I upload a video and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!